what's up what up what up what up everyone getting the day started here i want to i want to make this video uh this specific video uh kind of for like beginners you know i was in the i was in downtown la picking up food and then this, this young dude came up to me he's like hey you're wilson right i was like what's up man He's like, hey man, you got any advice? Like for me, you know, I'm just getting started. And like all these things started going through my mind, you know? And I was kind of like in the middle of my little rush, you know? Uh, I gave him a few pointers, but you know, he, he because of that, he, he, he gave me this idea of making this video. Well, basically like all the stuff that I wish I knew when I started. Uh, so I started writing down stuff, like of all the things that, uh, that, you know I kind of knew in the beginning uh, cuz you know I've been doing this for what, like two years more like two and a half years started with DoorDash and Uber Eats now I'm like uh, you know trying different apps and stuff but when I started <clears throat> there's all these little things that I learned along the way you know it took time but uh, I'm just gonna give them to you like right now uh, uh, these are basically ten things that I wish someone told me when I started I even wrote them down and shit on my notes. <laughs> Alright, check it out. Man, I feel like I haven't ridden my bike in a while. Well, it has been a while. It's been like, what, since Friday of last week? It's Tuesday right now. Tuesday, Friday, Thursday. Friday. Like four or five days. It's a lot. Anyway, alright. So, <clears throat> uh, so, first thing, schedule. That's a big one because uh when i started i would just work at random times you know i'll come out here like at one like at two and i'm like why isn't it busy or i'll come really late or stay out real late and you know later on i started discovering like there's certain hours of the day where it's always busy for at least in my area but I'm sure it should work the same since humans eat around the same time. But uh, scheduling was one big one. First of all, set yourself a schedule. When do you want to work, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know if you guys are doing this full time or part time. Um, if you're doing it part time, pick your days. And then uh, on that schedule, I would say two, two times a day that it's really busy lunch, dinner, breakfast. I don't know. I don't have much experience in breakfast because I'm just not a morning person. So I'm not too sure how that is. I doubt people is really super busy in the mornings, but what I recommend, lunch and dinner. So the hours of that, around 10.30 to like two o'clock. Work those hours, kill it every time. And then uh, it'll probably slow down a little bit. And the next time, where it starts getting busier again, like five to nine. That's the schedule I'll, I'll recommend. Um, so if you want to work part time and you only, only want to work like half the day, do one of those two slots, either uh, morning from ten to two or five to nine. That's the time that uh, it's the busiest. I've noticed on all apps. All right, and then uh, number two. Oh, and then you know also, Fridays and Sundays. Those are two good days that are very, really busy. Friday, because everyone's so excited because of the weekend. They order food and shit. And Sunday, because it's a laid back, chill day. Fridays are my favorite, personally. Those, those Fridays are always busy, good money. All right, another thing that I'll recommend is number two. Uh, create a checklist So this checklist is something you'll have on your wall when you're about to leave your room Or your house or your or you know, whatever apartment Where you have all your stuff like the checklist is basically gonna consist of everything you need to bring with you and This is important because like if for example if I come out here and I forget my USB cable I can't charge my phone My phone's only gonna last me till like two o'clock a few hours because I leave it on all the, all, all day so 
I won't be able to work anymore. I need my phone to work. And there's all these little things that I need to bring with me in order to like have a good day with no interruptions. Check it out, I even took a picture of my, uh, I took a picture of my list. I'll show you guys what I have on my list so you guys get a good idea of what I, cause I, I forget stuff, man. I'm terrible with that kind of stuff. So this checklist, just make sure, I make sure that I have everything with me. Where you at, where you at? All right, here we go. So, <laughs> this is legit my, my list, so don't laugh at it. All right, <clears throat> phone, check. Wallet, check. Keys, got them. Pepper spray, got it. You lock, got it. Lights, got it. Water bottle, well, I don't. I lost it, so I usually just get uh, drinks from Starbucks. Uh, let's see what is what else is in here. Batteries, that's like my external batteries. I have two. One for my phone. One for my GoPros. Oh yeah, I got a new GoPro, guys. I'm gonna tell you guys about it later. Uh, <laughs> hat. Hey, I need my hat, man. Believe it or not, I've forgotten it before. It should protect me from uh from the sun. Whatever. USB cable. GoPro, SD card. I have forgotten my SD card. I brought my GoPro, I'm all excited. And then I try to record and it says no SD card. I'm like, damn it. I have some good ideas that day too. So I have it in my list. Meal prep. <clears throat> um, I'm a meal prep tonight, but I like to prep my meals. That way I'm not all here spending all this money on food funny because that's exactly what I do all day and not what I want to do you know I deliver food but I don't want to buy it meal prep whatever Bluetooth headphones I don't know for you guys that might be headphones whatever I lost my Bluetooth I couldn't find it this morning sunblock sunglasses tool and lights I wrote lights in there twice thermal thermal because it gets cold sweater well this list it may, it's gonna vary from person to person like you're gonna have a different checklist than I do we all have different setups um, but that's my list that's the list that I have so I don't forget anything it's lifesaver definitely something I recommend you guys do um, and every time you add something to the list or you get something new you add it and uh, that's very helpful <clears throat> all right Third thing, check your tire pressure. Make sure your uh, make sure your 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 tires have uh, are filled with air. Make sure they're nice and uh, how can I describe it? I like to have them like really full, like with a lot of pressure. And the reason that's helpful is because uh, if your tires are low, it's harder to pedal and uh, it feels heavier to push the bike, and that's gonna tire you out. I had a friend who. Well, Jesus, the one that rides with me sometimes, uh, he comes out in some of my videos. He, uh, I remember one time he was like, man, I need to get another bike. This bike is too heavy. Then he puts air in his tire, whole different story. Like his bike was actually running fast again. He didn't realize that it was this whole, this is the low pressure on his tires this whole time. So definitely check your tire pressure. Make sure you have enough air. If you don't, put some air in it. Go to the bike shop or if you have a pump at home you know make sure you check that every morning before you go out it's gonna save you energy plus you need it to have good like traction and stuff while you're riding so number three tire pressure um and uh well speaking of the tire pressure um while i because it makes you go like faster right number four is keep a steady pace find your pace find your little rhythm and just stick to it you know don't rush it. Don't don't try, don't like try to be fast all the time. You know, it's it, you're gonna tire yourself out. Don't get me wrong. There is there is gonna be times where you gotta go fast, like when you're running with, uh, in the, with the flow of traffic. You have to uh, you know go with the go with traffic. So you might have to speed up a little bit. Downhills, shit. I like to go fast. It's, it's just fun, but. Uh, for the most part, keep yourself a nice steady pace. Like right now, I'm probably riding a, you know what? Let's put the speedometer, see how fast I'm going right now. I have a little app that tells you how fast I'm going. All right. All right, hold on. All right, it says 
Oh, can you guys see? 13, 14. I think my pace, hold on, let me get my, because right now it's kind of a little incline. All right, this is kind of smoothing, flattening out. All right, this is my pace right here. Somewhere like 14 miles an hour. Maybe 15, 13. All right, like 13, 14, 15 miles an hour. That's my pace. Stick to that. Especially if you're like me, you're right here all day. I do this full time, so I'm out here all day, son. So I gotta keep that pace. If I ride faster than that, like if I'm over here trying to do 20 miles an hour, a couple hours I'll be dead. Just tiring myself out. Don't do that. So, damn, I just lost my list. Oh, here it goes. All right. Number, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. This is number, number five. Busy areas. So find out, you gotta, it took me a while to find the best place to work. Like, I tried my area, my neighborhood first. I tried like USC, I tried Koreatown, like, you know. Uh, they're, they're cool, but they're not as busy as downtown LA for me. So I ride 30 minutes to work every day to go to work in downtown. Cause that's my spot that's the place where there's so many people who work live and play there so a lot of restaurants and a lot of people that's going to equate to more deliveries more money so find your spot look online see where there's a lot of people you know i mean you're going to know your areas more than i do i mean if you live, you live in la downtown downtown la is it for me Another day in the hood. What's happening? Who got shot? Uh, anyway. So find that busy areas. Um, you might have to try stuff out, you know? You might have to try different cities. If you're trying an area for, for the first time, I'd say, I'd say choose, uh, choose Fridays and Sundays. That way you get an idea like how busy it can possibly get. Um, but yeah, find your area. Find, find the busy areas. Um, another one. Um, well, this is going to vary from person to person. But you got to find a, your, the, the way to carry food. Don't carry food on your hand. It's dangerous. I Trust me, I've done it. And it's like holding that and having it here. Or on this side, you know, trying to hold drinks. I've seen, I've seen dudes holding drinks in their hand. Bad idea. First of all, you can drop the drinks or the food. The bag can rip. Um, you know, drop the drinks on you. All bad. Second is dangerous. If you have your hand on stuff and someone cuts you off, you're not going to be able to stop on time. You know, you could get in an accident. Like you always need to have your hand on the handlebars. I always have my hand on the handlebars and the brakes. I don't know if you guys, you probably can't see from that angle, but I always have two fingers on my brakes. Always. It saved my ass so many times. I think like last week I almost got doored, man. I was riding close to the, like a car and he just opened the door, but like right away I stopped. Like I stopped real quick, I was like this like, Oh, son. Oh. <laughs> Freak that guy out. <laughs> anyway, see how fast I stop? Oh, uh, because I have my I have my fingers on the brake. So I avoided crashing into that damn uh, door that the guy opened. So don't carry food in your in your hands. Don't carry anything in your hands as a matter of fact. Always have your hands on the damn handlebar. Um what I recommend is a backpack. Hands down. Uh, when I went to the DoorDash orientation, they were like, they require you to have a hot bag or a backpack. And they sold them there. They sold like uh, those red DoorDash backpacks. I'm pretty sure you guys seen them around. You might, you might even have one. But I bought one and I love, at first I was like, damn, what is this big old red box? I'm about to carry this, looks like a damn refrigerator. I mean, it still looks ridiculous, you know? It's, <laughs> it's a big old box. But uh, after a while, I was like, man, I 
love that backpack. That red box, I had that sucker for like a year. Then, um, you know, it, it got old and it just looked bad. I tried spray painting it black, but uh, I mean, it, it was like slowly tearing, you know? It was basically time for a new one. So I looked online, uh, it took me a while to find the back, damn backpacks. I don't know what they were called. I guess they were under pizza delivery bags because they look like pizza box. They look, they look like they're made for pizza. Um, I found that website Packer, packer.com. And I found this all black backpack. It looked pretty dope. It had the same dimensions as the uh, DoorDash bag. I was like, let me get that. And I ordered it, but the first one that I ordered came in like black, shiny leather black. Kind of funny when I first got it. It looked like leather. <laughs> it was super shiny. Um, Lifesaver, man. I wish I could show you guys the one that I have right now. Um, but these backpacks are uh, perfect for carrying food and drinks. These backpacks are, uh, you can put the drinks in the pockets on the side. Perfect for drinks. Um, I think in my whole two years, I probably spilled like drinks like two or three times. One, because of the Starbucks, they give you the food in those bags and you can't even take them out because they seal them. So I put it in my backpack and it tipped over, tipped over in, inside. Um, I found a solution for that show you guys later but backpack man uh, I'll show you guys the backpack that I have or I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check out the backpacks that I have and you kind of just shop around there's two bags that I recommend there's uh, the big one that I have which is I think uh, damn, I don't know the dimensions but then there's one that I have just like mine but uh, it's smaller that smaller one is better when uh, if you guys don't do much uh, deliveries, like, or if you guys don't use multiple apps, that little bag is pretty cool. I'll recommend that. But uh, the big one is, man, it has never let me down. One time I got a, one time I broke off my, what do you call that thing, the derailleur? It broke off. So I wanted to get to the bike shop so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna strap this damn bike to the backpack. I got on one of those electric scooters, the ones you can rent. And I rode my ass all the way to uh, to the bike shop. Got my thing fixed. I'm like, damn man, this backpack can do it all. <laughs> I'll do a I'll do a review on the backpacks that I'm telling you about in another video. But <laughs> so definitely one of the things I'll recommend get yourself a backpack to carry all the food and uh, drinks uh, let's see let's, let's go to the next one I'll talk more about, about backpacks in another video um, here's another thing I wish I knew when I started try different apps try all of them there's so many apps out there you know sometimes uh, a certain app might not be so busy in your area you know Maybe if you're using Uber Eats and your city is not that busy, but DoorDash is, you know? Or Caviar, or Postmates. I think all those apps that you do it on the bike, well, at least here in LA they do. You might have to like try out, um, check it to see if they're uh, eligible in your city on the bike. I would say just try different bikes, different bikes, different uh, apps. The hell's that text that just went? So yeah, um, just try them out. Oh my God, this guy. Uh, I'll leave links to, to, to uh, different apps that you can sign up for in the description. I just signed up for Caviar. I'm gonna try that out today. I'm pretty excited. Um, but I'll leave a link for all three of them. Right now I'm, I use uh, Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Caviar. Um, so I'll leave the links there so you guys can sign up. I'll say just, just sign up for all of them and have them there. Remember, the process takes about a week. They do a little background check and all that stuff. Sometimes you need orientation, like 
DoorDash, I had to do orientation. I had to go to it. Caviar, they sent me an orientation online. And uh, Uber Eats, you just kind of just sign up. Well, anyway, so just have all those apps uh, ready, you know? One doesn't, one is not busy, jump on the other one. You know, try different apps. And uh, that, it's cool, it works out like that. That way when you have them, uh, that way you have like backups, you know? Or like me, I just use, I use Uber Eats and DoorDash together. Excuse me guys. Hey, I like a little dog. <laughs> Thank you. Gotta get off the damn sidewalk. All right, I'm just zigzagging my way to downtown, as you guys can see. I'm trying to go somewhere quiet, but it's noisy everywhere. Yesterday was Veterans Day. So, you know, a lot of people had it off. Today's basically Monday. T Tuesday is yesterday's Monday because it's everyone's back to work. Um, so try, you know, mess with different apps. I definitely wish I started doing that in the beginning. Now I'm barely integrating like the apps. I'm starting to use them different ones. Uh, but I should have done that a long time ago. I would have been making way more money if I started doing this two years ago. All right. Another one is uh, get yourself a good phone holder. This is like, man, I remember one time my bike got stolen and I lost this. Well, they stole this too, right? This thing was the, uh, was taken with it once I got another bike and like I was doing this this like holding taking my phone out just doing that I almost crashed like I don't know I, I lost count it's just this is too like like taking my phone out and accepting a ride like I have my hand out of my the handlebar and I dislike that so much it feels like it just feels dangerous and you know you can't really react quickly so get a good holder and um put it put it near put it near the the edge if you're left-handed or if you're comfortable having it here put the phone here i'm right-handed i like having this right here this particular phone uh it's the one plus 6t it's pretty dope because it has the uh fingerprint scanner on the screen check it out bam son it's uh it's locked Check it out, I got a pin number, but ain't nobody got time for the pin number. This phone is dope, I just touch it here, boom, it unlocks. Isn't that shit dope? Um, but get yourself a, a good phone holder, man. Cause this shit's, uh, they come, they come in handy. It's safer. And you know, you wanna use navigation, you wanna accept the, or decline the trip. Phone's right here. You know, you see everything here. You're not so distracted from like writing. You don't you don't spend time trying to take it out of your pocket. It's dope, and it looks cool. Check it out. This one's this particular one that I have, quad lock. Look at that. It's old. I open bottles with this thing. <laughs> um, this one is uh, this one's called quad lock. In case you guys want to check it out, I'll also leave a link for this. I love this thing, man. I bought this again. I bought this again. You know, it's like, it's like, it's not cheap, but it's worth the investment. I've been using this for two years already. Um, and man, I've seen other versions of it though, like uh, different companies that kind of do the same thing. They're a little cheaper. I'll look for it. If you guys want to get something like this, this one's the quad lock, but I saw another one that was like 10 bucks. Uh, and it's kind of the same thing. It's just different, different they, they, theirs is a little different. I think it's like a button. I don't know how that one is, but uh, I'll post it up. I'll look for it and I'll post it up so you guys can check it out. I'll post the link for this one. This one's dope. I love this one. This one's a, I think cause it's like kind of old already. It's like this, but the new ones, uh, like a new one, I saw some guy had it. His is super sturdy. It doesn't move at all. It's like stiff. This one kind of jiggles around a little bit. Uh, let's see. So yeah, get yourself a phone holder. Make sure you get a good one that's, 
that don't get those little those flimsy ones that that close in you know because uh my friend had one and he hit a bump that phone flew out and he dropped it right he comes back around when he comes back that phone was gone someone picked it up and stole it basically shady people man but uh yeah get yourself a good phone holder uh let's see what's, what's i got like two more things prius all right uh get yourself an external battery i mean if you're gonna be out here like all day like me you're gonna need a, you get, your phone's gonna die out and once your phone dies you know be able to work no more you can't make more money get yourself a nice battery um look online um I, i'll say rule of thumb always get yourself a battery that can charge your phone like two or three times find out how big your battery is and your phone like mine i think this one's a 3500 so try to get something that's three times more than that so over 10,000 milliamps that we can charge your phone two to three times uh, so you could be out here all day i like to leave my phone on that's why uh, you need all those damn batteries uh and last thing safety you gotta uh, the way i ride around is i i pretend no one sees me i pretend these cars don't see me you know that way i'm always kind of cautious like i don't assume cars see me because if i assume then i'm gonna get in front of cars and what if they don't see me you know try to always lock in uh try to always lock in uh with people um with drivers when you're gonna go in front of them make sure they see you basically when you're gonna get in front of them if you can't see them i wouldn't risk it i wouldn't go in front of them and uh you know drive a uh, ride predictable predictable uh what's, what's the word yeah drive just basically ride predictable so don't do no impulsive like turns and stuff <clears throat> Watch out for doors. Don't drive too close to car doors. Uh, you know, um, signal your way. Like, usually people can read your body language. But, uh, I mean, that's why you gotta write predictable, you know? But if not, put your signal, you know, make your intentions known, what you're trying to do on the road. Um, wear, wear safety gear. I'm, I'm, I'm in the market for a helmet right now. I, I just haven't found the right one. But I'm gonna get a helmet for sure. Um, I have another video where uh, where I have a list of safety things. Uh, that was at the Uber Road Safety. Uh, what was it called? But I have a list of safety tips on there. I'll, I'll put a link to that too. Um, yeah, you know, just be safe. Be careful out there, man. Like, have bike with brakes. You know, fucking. If I had, I think if I didn't have, if I had a car with uh, a bike without brakes, I would have been in so many accidents already. So many accidents. Um, well, anyway, those are ten things. I think with these ten things, once you know them, and you'll be way more efficient. You already like got two years of knowledge in your, with you after these little steps right here. So that's what I recommend those are the 10 things that I, I wish I knew when I started so I hope this was useful for you guys I'm here in downtown I gotta start hustling actually I'm scheduled to work in Silver Lake but I'm not gonna work in Silver Lake I just got a dash there I'm gonna start I'm gonna go online with, with DoorDash and then come back to to, to uh, downtown LA <laughs> I hope that works anyway all right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions about anything I said. I'm a little hungover. I'm kind of out of it, but try my best. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> I didn't sound too crazy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to my long-term videos. Oh, and I'm going to do some filming on the 360 camera, baby. All right, guys, well, take care, be safe, and uh, good luck, man. Make that money. See you guys later.